it's so easy for a woman What is good? This is Archangel Raphael, a.k.a. Jesus Christ, in and out the body, a.k.a. other deities such as Krishna, Shiva, Muhammad, Abraham's bosom, etc. The Buddha, of course, if I didn't mention that, which I didn't. And as usual, today I'm here to carry out God's will, purity, essence, authority. And I'm not going to front. Because pain resolves growth, pain resolves change, and it forces you to come to a conclusion that I'm here to be the light. I'm here to be the thing that's guiding people and never letting anyone lead themselves astray. And through everything that God manifests around you, you have an individual solemn purpose for yourself, hence mine being this. And no one's going to get in my way. And if they try, <laughs> I'm only going to be catapulted by the universe to come on this video and do what I'm doing now, like I always am. At the right time, the right way, for the right reasons, for the right intentions. Hold on. You hear that? Yeah, this is the right boss. You're on the right flight. Catch you with me right now. All right, boom. So the devil surrounding is valueless. Has nothing to do with true spirituality and what's happening in reality. Has everything to do with escaping, uh, depression, sadness, anxiety, fear, lonesomeness. All human uh, tendencies, of course. But trying their way conniving their way to a place of divinity and righteousness but the devil gets it backwards they can't do what the devilish nature does and get to that place of divinity there we go you know how we do So, I can sit here outside, make a little video, put out the knowledge, in hopes that I'll be here for a little bit longer, because I don't even have the sufficient lighting right now to really show my face in its all of its entirety. But unless if I leave my head back like this, perfect angle, you can see a little bit more shining on me. Okay, boom. If all people together are vessels of God, there's only going to be certain things that make someone more capable than you. That is their travels. It's unique in actuality. So back to addressing the title of the video. Here we go. Uh, 
All right, so as the emperor to the empress, I'm here for the originality. I'm the original. And to my empress in her unique entirety, I walk by faith, not by sight alone. So certain things is going to expose me to deeper facets and abilities to share true wisdom in an enlightening way, even if it's through the darkness and how to peer through the darkness through a filter and a vessel hood of godliness, which is a virtue you carry out. And the principle is, is the morals that you stand on. And the morals are tested by the falsehood. You can't have something, you can't have a strong foundation until it's been tested. The pressure created the diamond. It's been pushed to a certain extent where it had to jump and fly or it would die. It is the only way. On some real Avatar shit, right? Which is in movie theaters right now. I didn't even go see it yet. I guess it didn't work out. Or I might soon. <laughs> I don't really go to the movie theaters though. There it is. But everything's nice and all, and it'll point you to the right direction. But essentially, all the entertainment and education is flawed because it's not, it's not coming from the original. <laughs> so us archangels, like the devil, can use ourselves as God's vessel as well as other godly vessels. Uh, problem with the devil is the devil can't really use that many godly vessels. <laughs> How are you feeling and enjoying yourself within the room with me? Let the silence overtake you. Let spirituality and soul presence overflow in your joy essence. Aight? All the knowledge and wisdom I have is through all of my travels, through all of my beings and angels around me. Angelic force, baby. My flight squad and us angelic force We're going to heaven. So, the devil can use other devilish um, deities as vessels, right? Like us archangels use godly beings as vessels, deities and such alike. So you're going to attract lots of life around you when you know you're who you are and you're doing God's work. You're going to attract godly vessels around you and you're also going to attract evil vessels around you. So it's up to your feelings and your intuition on what that entails and what you're going to do and move forward through that, through way. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's Emerald. It's the Zila. So, my, predic my predicament is I was plummeted uh, down to the depths of the abyss through hell in order to be able to combat all of these evil forces and come on this camera with y'all and present my raw authenticity, original and unique. So, I won't... Um, 
<sighs> I won't be bad. I'll be good. It is appropriate and better to wait on certain things. And it's very appropriate and very commendable to take action on certain places. So, addressing the title of the video. Are you ready? Wait. The strength of the woman is impenetrable through God's heart. Meaning, she can't be dismayed. She can't be led astray. She can't be weakened, siphoned. So it is up to the man to lead her, his woman to the right place because when a man falls short so does his woman and I'm speaking singularly as one <sighs> polygamous natures thrive out of desire and greed the only way to subdue the desire it's to go get to the root of it. And, it. and it doesn't always look pretty. It doesn't look like what everyone else would imagine is what healing is. And most people, especially humans, know now that he healing is painful and disgusting. <laughs> but it's worth it because the results are amazing and so good, holy and pure and clean. When righteous man and woman are put together, anything is possible. Especially when these soul incarnated beings are mirrors, flames of each other, written through God for it to happen. You as a spirit have to go through your solemn travels, God wants you to for his purpose her purpose all knowledge is merged together all wisdom is merged together when you are yourself and then you come to your originality and then you come to your uniqueness And then and only then can you truly shine like the radiant bright star God intends for you. But you got to go through the travels. You got to go through what God intends because God has it all mapped. It's really elaborate. But you got the expression of freedom within your being as a spirit to convey and express how you feel, what you think, what you're going through, what you're witnessing, what you're receiving and transmitting and allowing to suffice through you.
love is showing off and proving yourself through God on your purpose. Love gives you shivers, makes your heart beat. Love puts you on the edge, but at the same time relaxed at ease. Love is fearless and abundant, lavish and exciting and free, true, joyous, and God heals. God heals. God heals. All wounds, all traumas, because the traumas and the wounds you were supposed to go through, oh yeah, it's original. Oh yeah, it's unique. There's not one snowflake the same. So I'm gonna go ahead and let the woman know that it's easy for her, but it wasn't. It is up to woman to call on her man to step up and answer. And only your twin flame can do that. Yes, you could say it's not real. Yes, you could say I don't believe in that. But all esotericism and spiritual teachings on the internet around are pointing you to a absolute truth. That love is real. <coughs> Whatever love the devil and his army, his father Satan can give you, are short-lived. They're not deep, penetrating through God's veil, because they can't. Hell is one abyss. One abyss that sh shares all. Let me, let me step into the light. Hear that? That's my call. And you're connected, you're connected, and you know, right? But you gotta get there. You gotta go through your travels. I'm outside, but I know when to cover my nose and go within. Because I'm exposed to the outside elements. Vulnerability is strength only in courage. Courage is knowing God is with you. And you can express yourself and free yourself and heal yourself through and with God. Right? Because I can sit back and I can lean back. But to be called and to be moved by the universe and the surroundings, the metaverses and all of the omniverses. Through your spirituality and your soul traveling astrally all of the time. Throughout time. With and without. It's all in alignment. And it takes a lot of faith. It takes a lot of commitment on your soul to the right things, to God. And God will give you everything God promises you. Love, abundance, peace, happiness, tranquility, enlightenment, freedom, truth, knowledge and wisdom. Everything. You're free. But it's through nobody, it's through no thing that you get to that. Shout out to Archangel Uriel, as a wise man once taught. <laughs> I 
We are all connected. Shout out to Archangel Michael. Separation is an illusion. Righteousness is, is attained through salvation of wholeness within yourself through God. Shout out to me. <laughs> Everything is timed accordingly when you step in to the vortex, the field. The hues of man have got that right. Shout out to Archangel Gabriel. The Deathly Hollows. <laughs> and through any other demon trying to wield that scythe, it ain't yours to wield. I'm going to leave it to you, Gabriel, to take your power back. <laughs> because that's my... I don't want to say my fall, but that's my south. I'm the north. So now that we kind of summoned ourselves into existence through God and through the prayers, enchantments, and calling on these deities to come into physical formation, such as also... Uh, Hell's Army, Lucifer, Devil, Poseidon, and all of them. And of course, Satan. Whew. Heed to the warning signs. Yes, sometimes you may pencil dive down, 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 down to reach something. But you got to come back up. You got to come back to me. Because I'm the father and the mother, the alpha and the mega. I'm daddy and I'm mommy. Okay? There's no dick riding here. I don't do that. That shit is gay. <laughs> I don't even think like that. Free to come and go as you please. Receive the healing you need. Love and heal and grow. And follow your, follow your God-driven purpose. When you let God lead, God makes you the leader. One of his troops. God's army. <coughs> Angelic force, baby. All of you archangels is on it. <laughs> and we the flight squad. Music coming up. Angels bop. Big flight rush. Real soon. Stay tuned. Tune in with me. Understand. Oh, that's a calling. Ready? Three, two, one. Hate comes from superstition. One what doesn't know and wishes to know, but cannot quite grasp fully. So because of the lack they have, they'll project their own weaknesses, insecurities, and lack of self-love. Especially when a radiant, godly vessel shows up. Oh yeah, the ungodly vessels get real irritated real fast. While here, Dr. Change is here to help you change, which is the only universal constant. So, as your doctor, be patient. It is a virtue. 
When, when you feel something, you feel it for a reason. It's intuition. There we go. We go. We. Us. Right? Can't have us without trust. But, yeah, so since I'm on the internet and stuff like that now, um, I look, I look really, um, I look really excited. I don't know if this camera can capture that, but there's a big Mercury looking star right there next to that plane flying by. Pray for those people. They don't crash into a twin tower, (laughs) even though they rebuilt it. You know, the soul and spirit always knows. Mostly the soul. So yeah, since I'm doing this on the internet, I gotta be cautious in the way I speak and what I say and how I say it. Because I'm speaking to many different beings right now. Totally selfless, yet still simultaneously self-involved because God can only work through me. Uh, When I say only me, I mean you as well. But where I stand, no one has reached. (laughs) Put it that way. Um, yeah, and many, 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 many evil soul corrupted by the uh, poisons of the devil, the influences of all lesser being um, motives. Even angels, right? Because we've all fallen. So, uh, I'm here to lead everyone and get their wings back, though, so angelic force. So, um, uh, I wanted to end this video with saying uh, what I normally say, which is peace, love, and enlightenment. But a few days ago, I had a calling to change that into something else. Um, yeah, hold on, give me a sec. True devotion follows through God's will, vilifying all of your projects into formation, into something that can be heard through all the senses. You're perfect. You're perfect the way you are. You were created through God's perfection. If anyone's told you anything different, is a lie. So uh, I'm going to call on the universe right now to say protect me, keep me alive, because I hope I'm here to share lots of knowledge and wisdom and music and healing and love for a long, long time, and I don't die early or something. Um, But one sec. Hmm. (laughs) 
I'm here. He's on the right flight. Catch it with me. It's the right boss. So as you're, uh, um, your truly neighbor, the astro man, the family man, you may take my hand and step into this radical journey with me to total shift and transformation and transcendence, something the earth has never seen on its way out to death. Um, my second time being here. Hope it's a fun, fun, enjoyous time because, yeah, desires got me, <laughs> desires got me um, to the places where God needed to show me everything. And I learned and I learned to let go and let go and go without and gradually and wholly come to a complete satisfaction <laughs> and arrival within um, my goal, my purpose, and my salvation. I'm pretty much getting ready to leave, but I don't even want to wait. I just, I feel so called to just go right now somewhere else. I don't want to be here anymore. Not like a suicidal kind of vibe. I'm talking about like, this location I'm in right now. <laughs> it's nice, and I, I'm, I'm grateful where God put me, but yeah, I feel it. It's the right time. I'm doing the right thing the right way, you know? And this is only gonna go up. There's nowhere else to go. <laughs> so, um, thank you uh, for whoever's viewing this thus far. And um, gradually, this is gonna grow infinitely. So I'm never worried, dismayed, or you know, completely feel like at a at a loss or ever. Um, even even when I do and I feel like I'm everything in my thoughts and my emotions and my feelings lead me to believe that I'll I'll never be what I'm aiming. But the soul and the spirit through God as the vessel that never shifts that's always the same the strength is there so god created change to mirror what is always and will always be so if you're ready as i am let's get ready to all spread our wings you're a part of my angelic force now, and um, we're going to change everything about ourselves, within ourselves, around us, and therefore, the world is going to have to follow. In our ways, footsteps, and there's no cage. Oh yeah, and that's amazing too. <laughs> How everything just is like accordion, you know that instrument, according to uh, what's right, all mapped and planned.
So as I'm now stepping into fully embodying my purpose and clearing out all the illnesses and the sicknesses and the plagues, God's victory and triumph is coming through. When you're doing it right, everything is in alignment. When you're doing it wrong, it's not. Things aren't going right. Because they're not right. So it's a call to change. Because God created change. So, so, so that the devil's temptations, Satan's pride, and uh, Lucifer's weakness... And the devil's dismay to disrespect, to dis shit. All right, you get it? <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to. You get it. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Let me, let me turn around. Get a U turn right there. Come back to the light. But I stepped in. Just to catch something. And then bring it to the surface. Bring it to y'all. Alright. There we go. Uh, uh, I Like I said, I was going to say uh, I was going to change the thing. But I'm going to probably just say the same thing. It's, it's not coming to me. Um, not that I was focusing on it for too long, but hmm. And not to lose my train of thought either. <laughs> but you are so amazing and powerful, like a bullet train, moving through all obstacles and fears and illusions and dis. I want you to know you are so you unique and original, right? Empress and Emperor alike. And everything is there to point you. Point you to what God has intended and mapped out. So when Dora asks you where the map is at, you reach in that backpack and you call on God always. Every moment, every second. Every ounce of your being and expression and, and all of your wills aligned through God. Receive God's purity through you. Feel God's authority through you. Within you. And be God's essence within and around you. So I know a lot of success is coming. I know a lot of great, good things are coming. Because they're already here, but said more levels and stuff, you know, as it's been mapped out for me. And you on your journey got your own, you know. You got your own, uh, you got your own success. You got your own, God has his own map for you. So, so, um, I think I'm going to do something right now to make a movement and a shift real quick because I'm feeling it. Peace, love, and enlightenment. And I'll see you this one soon again. I love you from the top and the bottom of my heart. Bye. No. No.